fate versus free will, no passion, constraint, lust, duty and honor versus desire, I think doubt, redemption, our love, and marriage, and there, there are universal themes and elements in these characters that that we will connect to. When Stephanie and I started emailing about it, she sent me the script and I read it and I thought, wow, this is really taking an epic story and an epic novel and distilling it down to its purest state. In the script, she's managed to condense like sometimes a hundred pages into three amazing moments. It's kind of extraordinary, it's really risky. It's also filled with movement and uh, it's more of a performance piece rather than a straight up adaptation. Uh, the most startling thing, of course, is Levin and Anna as a device, uh, kind of narrative device, speak to each other throughout the play. It's fascinating to see them kind of reach across time to each other. She doesn't exist without Levin. This novel doesn't exist without Levin. So to allow them to actually speak to each other is the way in which Tolstoy's chapters speak to each other. He weaves them so beautifully. The audience members will relate uh, with both characters because I think we all have that desire to do what's best, you know, what, what is morally acceptable, what is socially acceptable, but also what is what is gonna bring us to the best versions of ourselves. Levin is very much the other side of the coin of to Anna. They both don't feel quite like they fit this mold. So I I hope that audiences leave wondering about how they fit the molds, wondering about what our molds are in 2014 with, compared to what they were in the 1870s. All of these characters, they, they come back to that. They doubt that the path they're on is the right path or that they're doing the right thing. That goes to why the story is still as universally popular as it is, because it's part of the human condition. To, to run up against those barriers and wonder if if we're on the right path, if we've made the right choices. Physicality and relationship and uh, all of the, the really cool expressive and stylistic elements that we're adding, I think that is by far going to be the, the biggest draw for audience members. There's so much narration and so much in our life. And how do you possibly put that on stage? And what Helen Edmondson has done is created a whole world that we're go inside the minds of Levin and Emma. It's just, it's what theater can do that film and television can't do. This is going to be amazing.